This is episode 2158 of your daily meditation podcast. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well as we are now midweek exploring the theme of confidence in regard to your relationships. I'm Mary Meckley and I welcome you as you get ready to meditate today and explore a technique you may or may not be familiar with. This is a technique called a mudra. Mudras are ways you can position your hands that stimulate a corresponding region of your brain. Mudras work in a similar way as acupressure or acupuncture. And really they are very similar to yoga. In fact, they're often referred to as yoga in your hands. So you have the option to do this mudra as you meditate today. If you are new, I welcome you. And if you're a regular meditator, I honor you for showing up for yourself. One of the best ways to maintain your meditation ritual is to meditate consistently. It's the reason I show up every day here on the podcast because the key to receiving the benefits of meditation is by doing it consistently. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you are enjoying the podcast and the meditations, I would so appreciate it if you left a review and let me know how meditation is helping you. You can send me an email at mary at sipandom.com or you can just head over to the Sip and Om Instagram or Facebook and send me a private message. I'd love to hear from you. So your fellow meditator I'll be mentioning today is Kirsty. Kirsty reached out to say that she listens to the daily meditations every lunchtime when she walks her dog. Kirsty says, it has become a new welcome part of this new mom's return to working in this crazy new world. It is a rare but enjoyable moment for me each day. So I'd love to hear when and where you meditate. I tend to meditate outside whenever I can. And I do this even if it's hot or even if it's cold because I like to feel the elements from nature all around me. And I learn to enjoy this When I lived in Japan for several years, we didn't have central heating or central air, and there was a lot of conservation of energy. So when it was cold, we bundled up, and when it was hot, we removed layers of clothing, and we also kept the house opened up so that breezes would naturally cool it down. And even though sometimes it was uncomfortable, I really felt connected to the environment and what was happening in the natural world around me. I'd like to encourage you to meditate outside sometime this week, maybe even today. And I want to know how you're doing with your kindness challenge as you go on a love quest, doing one kind act for yourself each day. Improving relationships which is the theme of this week's series, begins with improving your relationship with yourself, how you view yourself and your own confidence. And I'll share with you a little research and insight before you're guided in today's meditation. This is from a biological anthropologist Her name is Helen Fisher. She is a senior fellow at the Kinsey Institute, which analyzes how people react in certain relationships. She says there are three essential neurochemical components found in people who report high relationship satisfaction, practicing empathy, controlling one's feelings 
and stress and maintaining positive views about your partner. And I'm sharing this from an article in Time Magazine. It's called The Science Behind Happy Relationships by Sarah Trelevin. The research shows that in happy relationships, partners try to empathize with each other and understand each other's perspectives instead of constantly trying to be right. Controlling your stress and emotions boils down to a simple concept, says Fisher. Keep your mouth shut and don't act out. If you can't help yourself from getting mad, take a break by heading out to the gym, reading a book, playing with a dog, or calling a friend anything to get off a destructive path. Fisher says that keeping positive views of your partner is what she refers to as positive illusions. She says it's all about reducing the amount of time you spend dwelling on negative aspects of your partner. She says no one is perfect and the brain is well built to remember the nasty things that we said. But if you can overlook those things and just focus on what's important, it's good for your body, it's good for your mind, and it's good for your relationship. So as you settle yourself down and get ready to do your meditation today, begin to calm your mind and your body. Notice where you tend to hold stress in your body. And then notice if there's an emotion you can identify to label that stress. Begin to inhale and exhale smoothly and evenly through your nose. You may place your hands in the Kalisvara Mudra, which can help you to manage difficult emotions. And also it can help you manage your temper. Place your hands in the Kalisvara Mudra if you choose to do it. You place your fingers and your thumbs in the position of a heart. So your thumbs are extended downward touching and your finger knuckles from each hand are touching each other. So your fingers are bent and the knuckles are touching each other. Now extend your middle fingers upward as if there's a steeple over this heart. This is the Kalisvara Mudra. These are ancient techniques that have been around throughout millennia to calm emotions. You can hold this mudra at your heart or in your lap and hold it for however long you feel comfortable doing so. As you inhale through your nose, visualize the face of a loved one. You might bring to mind someone with whom you'd like to improve your relationship. And as you hold the pause between the inhale and exhale, visualize sending them love and gratitude. As you exhale, inwardly smile affirming mentally, 
I send love and gratitude. You can continue with this breathing technique followed by the affirmation, I send love and gratitude. As you inhale, visualizing the face of a loved one, holding that pause between the inhale and exhale. Smiling inwardly with love and gratitude. As you exhale, releasing tension. Continue meditating to the point where you could meditate a little longer in your meditation at this point. You are so worth slowing down for. <laughs>